Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video we'll take a look at the history of Unimatrix Zero. This will be part one of a three-part series. So let's go ahead and get started. Unimatrix Zero was a virtual construct and resistance movement created by a group of Borg drones. The Unimatrix Zero construct was created by Borg who had recessive genetic mutation which gave them the capability to create this virtual world and to live within it. They were free from the hive mind as individuals while regenerating within their alcoves. Individual Borg were connected to the Unimatrix Zero via their intellect frequency, based on a triaxylating modulation. This modulation made sure that not even the Borg Queen could disrupt their link. How Unimatrix Zero came into existence is unclear. Some believed it started with a random malfunction during the assimilation of a single drone which eventually spread to other drones. The genetic mutation was rare and only one in a million drones possessed it. Although this mutation made it possible for a drone to live in Unimatrix Zero, they were only aware of it as long as they were in it. When a drone's regeneration cycle ended, it could not remember the experiences gained while within the Unimatrix Zero. Entering Unimatrix Zero was only possible when a drone entered the regenerative cycle. Non-Borg entities could only enter via a mind meld with a drone during its regenerative cycle. The number of Borg drones who made up Unimatrix Zero were estimated to be about 12,000 and perhaps even more. In Unimatrix Zero, a drone could opt to assume the appearance it had exhibited before assimilation into the collective, and most chose to do so. A drone was aware when its regenerative cycle would end, giving it the opportunity to say goodbye to others before exiting to serve the collective. Once inside the Unimatrix, a drone could call another drone in its regenerative cycle. Only drones who possessed the genetic mutation could be called to enter the Unimatrix, which served to let them regain some part of the lives and individuality that they had prior to assimilation. Although a drone could be killed within Unimatrix Zero, he or she would enter it again during the next regenerative cycle. And that, my Star Trek of friends, is part one of our three-part series discussing the history of Unimatrix Zero. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, which I know you do, then you'll want to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Anything less would be illogical. And remember, Star Trek is life.